Hey, Abby. Mm -hmm. Didn't you say you were studying type 2 diabetes in your basic nutrition class? Yeah, we are. Why do you ask? Well, my cousin was just recently diagnosed with it, but I don't know much about it. Well, I'm headed to the dance studio. Do you want to talk about it there? Sure. Awesome. So what is type 2 diabetes? Well, diabetes is a metabolic disorder that causes sugar to build up in the bloodstream. Okay, so that kind of makes sense, but like, how does it build up? Well, during digestion, our body breaks certain foods down into glucose. Glucose then enters the bloodstream. <laughs> this is what it looks like when glucose enters the bloodstream. He makes all the insulin. I am the pancreas. When blood glucose levels rise after a meal, the pancreas releases insulin into the bloodstream. Normally, with insulin acting as key, the glucose exits the bloodstream and enters into the cell. In type 2 diabetes, the cell resists the insulin and ignores the message to receive the glucose. Because the glucose can't get into the cell, the glucose levels in the bloodstream rise, causing high blood sugar. So, this drastic intake of glucose makes the pancreas think that it needs to make even more insulin, which can tire the pancreas out. So does that make it produce less and less insulin? And that makes the blood sugars rise even more. That's crazy! So what happens with all that high blood sugar going on? Well, sometimes it causes frequent urination, excessive thirst, drowsiness, weakness, blurred vision. Really? That sounds awful. So are there any long-term complications for if the blood sugar is in control? Actually, yes. There's vision problems, nerve damage, kidney disease, heart problems, strokes, poor blood circulation. Oh my gosh, really? That's just how it is.